Yo ko so, Japanese Quest to it. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues in Dragon Quest 11S on the Nintendo Switch. Cash, konnichiwa. Welcome everyone. This is a channel for learning Japanese from Japanese games. I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira. This character in the game we named Akira as well in Katakana. I'm a bit out of breath. I was just doing some uh, push-ups to get pumped up for the stream. I recommend other streamers. Do a bunch of push-ups before your stream. You'll get hyped for it. Sometimes you need the proper amount of hype. Uh, AJK, konbanwa. Konnichiwa, Cash. Good to see you guys. So let's jump into the game. What we do on Japanese Quest is we break down sentences, we learn words, we learn grammar from the game, and we... What we do that is unique, that I haven't seen done anywhere else, to my knowledge anyway, is we uh, gain experience over time. We gamify the language. Uh, our goal with vocab is if someday, maybe, to get over 9,000, which is how many words you need to be fluent in a language. So we measure vocab with power level. Down here are the words from past games. We also break down sentences and learn grammar and context from the game. Uh, Herb Pudding. Ah, konnichiwa. Catching up on YouTube. Nice, where are you? Just out of curiosity, what have you been watching on our YouTube? Yeah, people can also watch our videos on YouTube. There's now a playlist with all episodes of Japanese Quest up to 185, I believe. Episode 2, nice. The Power of Katakana, I believe. Episode 2 is in Xenoblade. That was almost two years ago. So at this point in the game, it's night time, and I do have to mention one thing. Uh, last night, I played a different game after stream. I played Final Fantasy X in Japanese, which we might be playing here after this game. Uh, but unfortunately, and tell me if I'm wrong, because I don't know this game that well, I could not save this game. Because check it out. Let's run over here. If you hold down R2 or L2, R2, I think, it looks like you can run. So check it out. This is where you have to church. This is where you have to save the church. Uh, so it's locked. Let's break this down a little bit. So, Kagi is lock. Kagi ga kakateru. So it is locked. So we can't save. The save point is literally locked. So because of that, and we're at this point in the game, I had to just quit. I couldn't even save. I was thinking maybe it auto-saved, so it would be fine. But it didn't auto-save either. Not for a long time ago. So I had to completely redo the conversation with our mother, learning that we are the, uh, the reincarnation of the hero. That whole scene had to be done again. Luckily, I could skip the scene. So anyway, I had to run back to this point. The only thing we're missing now is some items that I probably explored and found yesterday. Hopefully nothing too important. I think that Japanese cypress bow we don't have anymore, but otherwise I think we pretty much have everything. A polycene, or polyscone, konnichiwa. Does anyone know if you can save in this game? It's just odd that in a modern game you can't save properly. Like I had to completely redo a big section. Just because you can't save normally, it's ridiculous. Uh, geek, konnichiwa. Okay, so where are we now? Let's. I think we need to talk to our friend because now we're gonna leave on a journey, on an adventure. Boken shield. Boken is adventure. Ooh, let's see if we can get this treasure. There's something on this house that I see sparkling. And this time, let's find out how to save at the end of stream. Probably once we get to the field, it will be easier. Yakuso o te ni ireta. So yakuso is herb, and then te ni ireru means to, to gain or to pick up. So we gained a uh, herb there. You can see another herb there. I think that's for healing. Let's see if we can find our friend. Go 
hit you up. Remember this tree, this strange tree. Kono kini. Okay, let's break down this sentence. This is kind of a important idea in this game. Um, yesterday we talked about this kanji, ki, meaning tree. So ki ni makitsuita. So wrapped around the tree. You can see that vine kind of wrapped there. Uh, so ne kara wa nani yara fushigi. Fushigi strange. Fushigi na chikara. So a strange power we can feel from this tree. Kanjiru means to feel. So you can't sleep either? Me too. For some reason I couldn't get to sleep. Uh, so we see the mo here, meaning, so you, Akira, that's my name by the way, also this character. So you as well can't sleep, and then she's saying, watashi mo. So me too, I can't, couldn't sleep either. Do you remember this tree? Kono means this, ki again, tree. So kono ki, remember this tree? That's quite a long name. Omodan gets good. Yokoso. Japanese Questway, welcome. So she said, uh, when I was a kid, I my scarf, we see scarf again in katakana, scarf. It got caught in this tree. You can imagine her scarf here getting caught, maybe. And then uh, I, so, o naki, so I cried. Um, Nakimasu is to cry, o naki, so like a big cry. Uh, demo, but Akira, you uh, helped me out finding help rushing around the, the town. So, yeah, Okay, so this is what we just did, this coming of age ceremony. Seijin no gishiki. Um so before it, no mai ni um onaji yona koto. So this whole part here means the same kind of thing. Onaji means the same. Uh Koto means thing, and then yona, the same kind of thing. Um, and so, yeah, nothing's changed from when we were kids. Uh, kodomo means child, kodomo no koro, the time when we were kids. So, kodomo no koro kara, so from when we were kids, chitomo, not at all. Kawatte nai, nothing has changed. Ne, kind of looking for his agreement. Nothing's changed, don't you think? Okay, this is getting to the core of her mood right now. This word here. Zutto. Always. So I thought that we'd always, the two of us, live peacefully together in this town. So, watashi ne? So, as for me, uh, notice she didn't say Akira here, because she doesn't know how to say our name with the voice acting. She said anata, meaning you. Um, and then kono mura de, so mura, village, and then de marks the place. So in this village, I thought we'd always live here. Peacefully. Um, orayaka here means peacefully, calmly, um, and then sugosu is to live. And then she's showing her feeling at the end. Omo means to think. So I thought we'd always live here. Yeah, 
Hmm. Okay, so again, capturing her em emotion here. Bikuri, surprise. So, bikuri shichatta. So I was really surprised and kind of hitting that home. I could not believe it. So shinjiru is to believe. This is the negative of that. Um, shinjirarenai. I could not believe it. We got a dragon! Good evening, Sensei. May the dude. Subscriber. Arigato. Two months. Twitch Prime. Awesome. Arigato, honto ni. Chirimbo, konnichiwa. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Japanese Quest. The moment of setting out on this journey in this game is arriving. But first, we have to say goodbye to our old friend. Nice boots. Hmm, so there's something I heard a bit about from my grandfather. Is this a Switch game? Yeah, it just came out on Switch yesterday, Friday. Um, so this weekend, to hype this game, we are playing it on Switch. Just came out. This is a uh, Dragon Quest 11 S. The new version, which is really cool because it has Japanese voices. It also has Furigana now. Okay, so she's telling her this story that she heard from her grandfather. Toi means far away. Toi, toi, mukashi. So mukashi means long ago, so very long ago. Um, sekai ju ga. So seka is world, and then ju means so all over the world. Um, kind of imagine all over the world. Mamoroni uh, osoarete. So all over the world, people were attacked by monsters. Mamoro um, means monster, and then taihen datta. So it was taihen, terrible, like difficult time being attacked by these monsters, and then doko kara tomonoku. So from nowhere in particular, the hero appeared. Yusha ga arawarete. So yusha is hero, and then arawarete is to appear. And then saves the world. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to save the world. How do you say save the world? Right here. Sekai o suku. That would be the present form, but here we see the past form. Um, sekai o sukutta. And then this date shows it's a quote. So a quote from her uh, grandfather telling this story. The hero appeared and saved the world. Maybe we'll hear about this uh, star as well. Mm. Ah, okay, so, and then after that, so, so and then, so no ato, after that, ato means after. Uh, wa, so again, speaking about our hero, Yusha. Um, that's us, by the way. Supposedly, we're the reincarnation of this hero. Um, here's the word for star. Hoshi. So, after that, according to legend, the hero turned into a star. Hoshi ni nare. But here we use the te form to connect it to the next thing. Hoshi ni natte ima mo. So now as well. Kono sekai o mimomotteru. So he's, the hero is still watching over the world. It seems. Lashi is kind of like, it seems. Saka. Ah, you saw it at a uh, YouTube. Nice. Yeah, the first Dragon Quest video that we made, if you want to see the very beginning of the game, is now on YouTube. Ah, uh, Nate Kappa, konnichiwa. Hora, ano hoshi yo? You see that star there? It's kind of an interesting word. Check this out. Let's go to our power level up screen. Uh, let's look up the word hora. So it just means look, look out, hey, look at me. See a couple different meanings, but the general meaning is, hey, look. Uh, I don't think we've learned this yet, so why don't we? Let's add it to our power level. We can just press C, 
copy that, add it to our power level, power level will go up. There we go. See, it's just hiragana. We've not learned it yet. Otherwise, it would turn green as a duplicate. So let's make our power level go up. Look at the bottom right. Looks like I forgot to make it go up once last time, too. But now, power level is rising. Hold up! We are getting the power of uh, telling people to, to look out. Could be important. Wrong button. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now 1353. Just means how many words we've learned so far on Japanese Quest. Your power level is how many words you know in a language. It's your raw power in that language. Of course, power level is not enough. You need to know how to use that power as well. Uh, but this is the world of Japanese Quest built with words. For example, dokutsu, cave, kawa, river. Now we got some more words to add to that. Let's go back to the game, find some more. So you're the hero? For some reason I can't believe it. But if you go to this lower, this big city, Deru Karadu, uh, then I guess you'll understand everything. That's what we were told anyway. Well, why don't you go back to your house? Everyone is worried. Again, this is a word we've seen a lot in this game already. Seems to be a theme in this game. Everyone's worried about us, at least in this town. Shimpai, worry, and then shimpai shiteru means to be worried. And so we're going back to our house. A good keyword here. Ie, house. Ie ni kaerimashou. So let's go back to your house. Okay, so let's sec. I just want to see, will there be tears now when she kind of runs off? Electric Toads, Yokoso, welcome. So everyone look closely. Is there tears? Yeah, good question. What does the wa add to the sentence? It kind of adds an emotional um, emphasis to the sentence. It's used for women uh, only. Unless you speak the Kansai dialect, men use it there too as a common sentence ending. Um... Are there tears? Yeah. Did you see the sparkling tears all of a sudden? I kind of remembered that. But I didn't quite see it. Ita. I saw the tears. Akira wa jibun no ie ni kaeru to bedo ni hairi. Nemuri ni tsuita. So Akira went back to his house and uh, entered his bed and went to sleep. Entered his bed sounds kind of strange, doesn't it? Um, Haidu normally means to enter, but I guess got into his bed. That might be a bit better. Um, notice here, Haidu means to enter. Um, Shirimbo has summoned a dragon. Yatta! We got some hype for Japanese language in the chat. Welcome, dragon. Welcome Jojo, welcome everyone else. Anyone just joining? This is a channel for learning Japanese from Japanese games. So, bedo ni hairi. Um, so this is the stem of the mas form. So if you say hairi mas, it means to enter. If you just take away the mas, it can function much like the te form to connect different verbs in a sentence. Um, and this is a very common usage as well. You don't need, because you could say Haite to enter as well. Um, that's another way to do it. There's a bit of a different nuance. Ah, sorry. Uh, pronounced pronounce like Chris. Crimbo. Crimbo? Does that sound good? <laughs> I was kind of using more of a Japanese pronunciation. Soshite uh, yoga aketa. And then uh, the night 
ended. Or the dawn broke. Something like that. Um, I don't know English sometimes. I should, though. I was a Japanese teacher. No, I was. I am a Japanese teacher now. I was an English teacher for two years in Japan. Hmm? <laughs> ah, sugoi. So you've truly become great. I wish I could have shown uh, you looking like this to your grandfather. So Sugata means like how someone looks. So she's kind of talking about her new outfit and how we look so grown up. Um, so, Sono Sugata, the way you look now, I wish I could have shown that to your grandfather. Miseru, to show. Um, Algeru, to give. So, I wish I could have given how you look, in a way, to your grandfather. Yeah, he, he looks like Trunks from DBZ. Well, it is the same um, artist as DBZ, so it makes sense if he looks like a DBZ character. So... Oma says, just want to say, Japanese is a daunting language, but this channel is an incredible resource. Yeah, you're right. I mean, every language is kind of daunting. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Well, I just pressed a button and it said, and it said some uh, Nappa thing. That was strange. I pressed a button by accident. Okay, hopefully it's okay. Um, yeah, you're right. It's a challenge. But the hope is with this channel, we can kind of make it seem a little less scary. Uh, and kind of by having this fun context, just playing a game, it kind of makes it seem a bit more accessible. You can also learn the story. Um, if you learn words in the context of a story that you care about or a game you care about, you don't all have to always worry so much about the language. Also, the pictures help. Just like reading manga can help. Having a picture to go with the language can give you scaffolding as you learn. Anyone else who's a teacher, if you're in a teacher program, you've probably heard that word scaffolding all the time. It's pretty... Uh, it's used a lot these days in master's programs. For... <laughs> Jojo, I see that you've, uh, you've been there. Kotatsu-kun. Nice name. Yokozo, welcome. So don't forget, Akira. And she's saying, so if you do forget, wasureru is to forget. Um, dame. It's bad. So it's bad if you forget. Don't forget. Um, yeah. Crashing and whatnot. True. Crashing. Crashing, I think, is legit, though. I mean, most people have a pretty good opinion of crashing. Just... How you learn a language is not just studying grammar or studying books. It's it's really just getting lots of input, lots of native language input that you can comprehend, comprehensible input, and then eventually you just kind of naturally start to learn it. Okay, so Antawa Murade, so you are the grandson, Mago, grandson. Huh, have we learned that word yet? Let's check if we haven't. So you are the grandson of the bravest man in the village. Yeah, rest is certainly important. I don't I wouldn't say taking a long break is good, but yeah, taking breaks as you're studying is definitely important. But I took a break for seven years. I don't recommend that. I recommend using the language every day. But certainly breaks and, and sleep is really important. So here, grandchild, N3 word, common word, Mago. Let's see if we've learned it yet. We have not. So our power level is now up to 1354. Let's keep going. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Oh no, that power level thing I turned on now. So when I switch back to that, it'll say it for now. I'll figure that out later. But anyway, to answer your question, Nappa, power level is now... 1353. No, that's wrong. It went up to 55. Let's just make that go up. 
Okay, there we go. So this ne, evil Snoopy says, uh, learning Japanese is difficult. Muzukashi ne. Demo, ganbare. Dekiru kara. You can do it. And if we work together, we can help motivate each other. We can do it even better. Uh, I think a big part of learning a language is just having other people to kind of share it with a little bit and to get motivated. You can kind of motivate each other to keep pushing through, to encourage each other to, to use it every day. So Monkey Leg, Snoopy, Six, Trimbo, Raphael, Konnichiwa. You're convincing me to return to my studies because I felt a bit unmotivated. Yeah, and you will feel unmotivated. Um, so I recommend making some kind of schedule. It can even be like a loose schedule and just doing it every day. Just make it your hobby, make it part of your life. And find a fun way to do it too, whether it's a game or manga or reading or some website, whatever you're into. It's good to have a fun way to learn and a more serious hard mode, like intense mode way to learn. A system that works for you. Okay, so from now on, no matter what happens, if it's you, you can overcome it. So this is very encouraging. Uh, yeah, as your mother, I believe that. So do your best. Shinge Kuro, welcome! This is kind of a nice sentence. Uh, one thing we do on Japanese Quest, when we see a sentence that seems worth learning, or seems especially good for the game, or for Japanese Quest, we put up this symbol. It means, let's add this sentence to our sentence chronicle. We can add this sentence collectively to our shared subconscious. If anyone's able to write it, you can write it here. Um, then we can add it to our chronicle. Um, I will break it down in more detail. So, kono means this, kono saki. So, saki means in the future in this case. So, kono saki, so in the future, up ahead. So, nani, what, nani ga, okiru. So, what happens. And then this temo means so no matter what happens. So, from now, no matter what happens. Anta datara, so anta means you. And then datara, so if it is you. And this is the important verb here. Nori koeru. Nori koeraru. Okay. So I know you can overcome it. So nori koeru means to overcome. Um, Okasan, shinjiteru yo, or shinjiteru wa. So I believe that you can overcome anything. So dakara, ganbatte kuru yo. So do your best and then come back. Is anyone, 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 is anyone able to write that sentence? I forgot English again. Um, as you're writing that sentence, let's uh, also take a look at that key word in the middle of that sentence. Let's look it up in our dictionary here. Jisho. So, nori. Noru by itself just means to ride, to get on. But this word here. Okay, here we go. Nori koeru. Ah, Jojo, you got it. Nice. I know it's a long one, so sorry about that. It looks right. Yatta. Let's do the sound for unlocking that sentence. I'll do it in a bit. Because uh, I'm on a different screen now. So here we have to climb over it means. But it also can mean to, to overcome. The second meaning is to overcome. But literally it means to climb over like a wall, for example. So imagine climbing over a difficulty. With your Japanese, you can do this too. You have a challenge, you can overcome it. This mom you see, her face there, she believes in you as well. Because we're all here, she's talking to all of us right now. So let's add this word to our power level. Oh my goodness! I guess, yeah, we've learned it because I... Like, I love this word, because it means to overcome, so it makes sense we've learned it. Turn green, because it's a duplicate. I thought we probably have it, because it's not the most common word, but we have learned it from a different game. Um, interesting. Okay. So let's not add that. Good review, though. Vegeta. 
What does the scouter say about his power level? Uh, what does the scouter say about our power level now? But well, this is what the scouter says. So that's the sound of unlocking this sentence in our minds. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, from Zelda, it makes sense. It might have come from there. So Okay, so as a parting gift, kind of a rare word here. Hanamuke, parting gift. So toshite means as, so as a parting gift. Um, in your nimotsu, in your luggage, um, I put some money. Okane, money. Okane o. So I put some money in there. Yatta, got some money. Delka daro koku ni mukau mai ni mura no dogu ya de shikaru tabidachi no junbi o shite iku nda ya. So before you go to this kingdom, um, go to the、uh, the item store or the tool shop or the equipment shop, and、uh, yeah, get prepared. The keyword here, junbi. Preparation, tabi dachi no junbi. So preparation for your journey. Tabi means journey. Tabi dachi to go on a journey, to set out on a journey. Um, I think someone asked how long I've been studying. Yeah, everyone I think is a bit different. I've been studying for a lot of years. I don't exactly know how many, but to get to N one level, which is the highest level of. Proficiency, proficiency test. I studied probably in hardcore mode for well, two years of college Japanese and a year of hardcore study for N2, and then another year of hardcore study for N1. So I'd say four years of hardcore, or I guess college wasn't really hardcore, but it was helpful foundation. So four years of hardcore study, I'd say, to get to N1. Do you need N1 to be a teacher in Japan?、Um, no, you don't. When I went to Japan, I knew no Japanese or hardly any, and most of the people I knew there spoke zero Japanese.、Uh, I mean, even to be a Japanese teacher here in the U.S., you don't need N1. I have friends who are Japanese teachers, and when they became a Japanese teacher, they failed N2, but they are still good enough. They passed N2 later, but But N2 is no joke either. None of them are a joke, really. They all can be a helpful benchmark for people if they want a goal to kind of move up the ladder in Japanese. Okay. So, Mura village, Mura no minna. So, minna means everyone. So, everyone in the village is gathering. To see you off, Miyokuru. To see off, Trin Tink, Yokozo. Welcome. So they are all gathered there to see you off. Atsumaru is the verb for to gather. So Junbi ga dekitara. So if you complete your preparations, you can come as well. I'm taking the N5 in December. Geek says that's awesome. I think it's too late to sign up for now, isn't it? But if it's not, someone else can consider signing up for it. I think it might be past the deadline now. But yeah, December is when I took the test too. I passed N1 about five years ago, and I passed N2. Wow, it's been a lot over ten years ago now. Because after that, I didn't study for like seven years because I thought N2 was good enough. But then I, got, I suddenly wanted to. I decided to go into a hardcore mode of Japanese after that. This、uh, stream is an extension of that. Tony NGO, welcome. I still feel like we should be, we should be able to open these bags. There's probably like rice in there. I want that rice. Deadline has passed. On then there. There's always next year. The cool thing about There's always next year. Is now you have a year to study for it if you want. Theoretically, you could aim for a much higher level. Like when I aimed for N2, I was only at about N5 level, and I had 
like a year or nine months to study for it. I decided just pick a high level, aim high. If, even if I fail, I'll learn more that way than if I aimed low. So I kind of recommend it aiming high if you have the time to put into it. I was in Japan on the jet program, so I had lots of free time to put into it. And I was in Japan, so I had lots of input. Kirei ne! Taki. Jojo. Yeah, some people say that, but it helps to have a goal. If you if you want to have a goal, it can be helpful. I mean, practically speaking for jobs, you're right. But in terms of setting benchmarks and goals for yourself, it can be very helpful to take different levels. Um, Ganbatte na. So do your best. Ah, uh, Sensei, fast track way to learn Japanese? Uh, I wouldn't really say there is a fast track per se. But what I often say is that uh, what you really need is a system that works for you, but a system that seems to work for a lot of people is a combination of Anki, flashcards, myself I did thousands of flashcards, and then reinforcing that in a kind of loop with also reading Japanese. And reading with a tool like Rikaikun, you can read kanji that you don't know and learn them. And then you can add those back into Anki if you want. So Anki, reading, Anki, reading, and then let me put Rikai here in parentheses because a tool like Rikai can help a lot too. Rikai Kuna, it's a Google Chrome plugin that we use on stream. Helps you read, hover over kanji. So this cycle, do it every day. Um, or something else that works for you, the important thing is doing it every day. And then, in addition to that, you want to have some kind of grammar component as well. So, for example, you might say Genki could be one, popular textbook for grammar. Uh, Take Him, also popular. So it's, hel it's helpful to just have a cycle, have a system, make a schedule, and just do it every day. Just make it your hobby, make it part of your life. That's really what it's about. Just this cycle, do it every day for say, one year, two year, three years, and if you have clear goals too, like say you have a goal of, I don't know, N4. You hit that goal, then you can make another goal. You can do N3. Or maybe your goal is to read a light novel. You can put a light novel. Any goal that motivates you. It's good to have a concrete target, too. Let's make a target. So it's a cycle, but it's a target as well. Oh no, I wrote so many letters now, I won't be able to undo all of them. But that's the basic idea. If there's no fast track, it's more of a cycle. That's all I could undo. So I've got to redo my window here. Let's make a new file here. Anyone else have tips in chat? Because that's just something that kind of applies to everyone. Let's see. Um, I do like flashcards, so yeah, if it works, that's a great way to do it. Um, do you have experience with OCR programs helping you read manga? I do not. Uh, Imabi, yeah, that's an also good one for grammar. Um, similar to Take Him, also very popular. Good suggestion. Um, I have been using Wani Kani for kanji. Yeah, I've heard great things about that too. A lot of people like it. I will say the makeup of kanji actually does make more sense now that I've learned radicals. Yeah, that helps a lot. Some people like remembering the kanji too, by Hisig. Um, I really enjoyed that after I already learned a thousand kanji. Um, but not everyone likes it. So I've been using the mass immersion approach. Immersion certainly is helpful. And cycling, reading, listening into Anki, that sounds like a really good way to do it. Uh, yeah, having a listening component I didn't mention, but that's really important too. When I was in Japan in my language monk mode, um, yeah, I've heard about different uh, names for different ways of learning. And before there were things like AJAT and MIA, I kind of did my own thing. I call it my language monk period of my life. So for nine months, I was just, imagine this is me. I'm just in my apartment in Japan. And every day I would just have the Japanese TV on listening every day to Japanese TV. At the same time, I had my laptop and I'd be doing flashcards every day 
I'd be doing practice tests for N2 weekly. I did a different practice test. I just found all of them, some of them on like Chinese websites and things. So I'd practice tests every day. I had grammar books. I had prep books for the JLPT. Um, all kinds of different books I had. Um, I pretty much bought everything that I thought could help me. I recommend wasting money on Japanese. It can motivate you in the language. Um, and really, it was just doing this every day, 24-7, for nine months. And that got me from N5 to N2 in about nine months. My Japanese teacher at the time told me it was impossible and it was stupid to make that kind of goal. And my girlfriend at the time said too, like, why would you take N2? That's way too high. I recommend aiming high, even if people say you can't or you shouldn't or it's lame, just do it. Try it. If you fail, you'll learn more. Anyway, it's good to fail too. If you fail, you can learn from that. There's kind of a dignity in failing, I feel like. Because it means you're trying, you know? Midnight Sun, welcome! So... Peruda kara kitazai. So I heard from your mom. Yeah, failure is a great teacher. There's a phrase of saying that in Japanese too. Does anyone know it? Um, tabi ni deru shime o seyoteru da datta na. So I can't believe you have this uh, mission of going out on a journey. Uh, mada wakai no ni. So even though you're young, that's very difficult. Koku, meaning a uh, harsh, severe. This is your monk teaching phase. You're right. I was in my monk mode, my language monk phase. As a student, it's kind of this, I think of this, this is kind of hero's journey based instruction. You might have heard of the hero's journey, the call to adventure. You go on the adventure, you have some great trials, um, but then you come back to your home. This game too has the hero's journey. You start out in your home village, um, but then you venture into the unknown. This other side of the hero's journey here is the unknown, this area here. So we are now venturing into the unknown. It's kind of the same with the language. So I like to think of Japanese Quest as hero's journey based instruction. We are lit literally learning Japanese on a hero's journey in the game, but also, you might say, in the language. So yeah, you might say right here I had my language monk mode right here. Um, and I went into this the kind of unknown here. Um, I passed N2 later. I'd be here, passed N1, later became a Japanese teacher, and then I kind of came back to repeat the journey with Japanese Quest. So we're, we've been doing Japanese Quest a while, so now we're kind of here. So I, I'm kind of doing my next hero's journey kind of as, like, I'm the wizard now. At first I was the apprentice, now I'm kind of that Gandalf type figure. Not to say, that, like, I'm as powerful as Gandalf. Gandalf defeat a Balrog. I'm not going to defeat a Balrog. But I think I could defeat some orcs. That's what I'm here for. Defeating orcs in Japanese. Uh, Rebellious Red says, Hey, could I sponsor your Twitch stream on my Japanese language cultural site? I don't know what that means to sponsor, but uh, I'll say, yeah, probably. <laughs> Can you explain what you mean a bit more? Um, Konosako... I like point them to you. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's what we always do for other Japanese teachers and resources too. We point to other resources. We point to other Japanese teachers. All Japanese teachers and learners, I like to say, are connected. So uh, yeah, link your own site. We can we can shout you out too. We can shout each other out. Um, okay, so go down this uh, hill. Saka means hill. Um, Kudaru to go down. So go down this hill here and then cross the river and then up ahead is the equipment store. We can go there. So you can get prepared there. So same thing our mom said. Junbi preparation. So Junbi o oetara. So once you complete your preparations you can uh, head to the um, the entrance to the north. So, Peruda mo minna omae o mi okuro to matte oru. So everyone's waiting to see you off. 
and for some reason I didn't read this part, but Kita means north. Kita no Irikuchi, so the north entrance. You can go there. Yeah, Rebellious Red, tell us about your site. What is the cultural site? Because I'm curious. Uh, this is the first time I've had someone who said something about having a cultural website on the stream, so I'm just curious. What's it called and what do you do there? We like to connect Japanese resources and uh, Japanese learners. Eh? Uh, we got this before, but since I had to redo this part, we got less items. So now we have over 10 items. And so this is the title we get. Kakedashi Collector. Um, hmm, maybe we didn't get that actually. But anyway, we have it now. Let's read it. Jushu uh, Ijo. So Ijo means more than. So more than 10 types of items. When you've gathered them, this kind of like beginning collector is what you get. Uh, Geek says, I've been in monk mode since June. Nice. Who needs a social life anyway? Uh, I think social life at some point in your life is kind of important, but I think having moments where you just go completely monk mode, I think that's kind of important too once in a while in life. Like sometimes having like deep moments of self, that sounds kind of cheesy put that way, but anyway, I think it's important sometimes to go into a monk mode. It doesn't have to be Japanese, it could be something else, but going hard all in on something, all alone. It's kind of a good way to find yourself, to build confidence, I feel like. Do something difficult, I recommend. That's a way to find. Confidence you maybe didn't have before. Doesn't have to be Japanese. Could be something like music or uh, art. Really whatever you want. Do something difficult. Go as hard and as deep as you can for at least a while. And then master it. You build that mastery, you build confidence too. And yeah, Ricochet, that's certainly true too. I'm not saying that this is a communicative language. You definitely don't have to like hide yourself. When I when I did that, I still worked at a Japanese school, so I still talked to Japanese people. So in Japanese and English. So don't get me wrong. Ooh. Hinoki no bo. So that's the Japanese cypress bow that we found yesterday that we had to get again now. Because this game for some reason has no normal way to save. So at night we couldn't save. Yeah, very good comment by Rika. My city does have a meetup. Um, Japanese English language meeting meeting groups can be very nice. Also a lot of universities have them. Maybe let's save again. Here's the church where you can save. I'm going to quickly do it. We have talked to this guy already. It's the same kind of boilerplate stuff, so let's just save. So the top one, Oinori o suru. Do a prayer, confess your sins, and then you can save. So thank you, God, for letting us save this game. So, uagaki suru ga sore demo yoroshi. So you will overwrite. We learned that word yesterday. Uagaki, to overwrite. Be careful when you see that word, because it means to overwrite your data. I one time overwrote my whole game and got really sad. But we can overwrite that data. Okay. Mexican! Welcome! Yokoso! So Rebellious Red says it's titled My Language LACI, Language and Cultural Immersions. It'll be launching in the next few weeks. It's meant to be a resource hub for Jap Japan across the web. From no theater, Japanese schools within Japan have been working on contacting people in Japan, bloggers, etc., to make native content. Very cool! Yeah, for sure. A shout out would be awesome. Sounds like a good project. Anata ga 
Bulken no tabi ni deru. Okay, so let's break this down because this is what we're doing. Bulken, adventure, tabi, a journey. So, Bulken no tabi. So, a journey of adventure I heard you are setting out on. Emma chan zutto, ie ni toji komotte. So, Emma, our friend, has. All for the whole time been locked kind of inside her house. Nanika yatteru mitai. So it seems like she's doing something. So maybe she's sad that we're leaving? I thought they're gathered. Everyone's all over the place. Ooh, you can pet the horse. That's a good thing. You can't pet dogs, unfortunately. Rebellious Red sounds good. Yeah, check out our Discord. You can maybe link it in our Discord or something. Then we can see it later. Ah, so she's talking about Emma too, who has been crying for a long time. Emma nae chan, zutto naiteta. So she's been crying for a long time. Uh, naku, to cry, this is the te form of that. Naiteta, the, the past form is too, with a ta. So, akira to, so to, so means, in this case, from us, from akira. Being parted from us, ia, is not good. She doesn't like being parted from us. To be parted, hanare, Um, Rebellious Red is summoned a dragon! Subscriber, arigato! Uh, demo, egao de. But with a smile, she wanted to see you off, she said. We got a dragon! When dragons are summoned, it builds hype. For language education on Twitch, so thank you very much for the subscription. You also unlock some emotes, custom emotes, and a stamp by your name with different kanji. So we still see some strange power emanating here. Nani? Yeah, you found the Nani kanji there. Nani and the power up. Uh, sensei, when were you in Japan? Or when you were in Japan? Um, did you ever come across people who volunteered at temples? Uh, I heard about it a bit, but I don't know much about that, to be honest. But yeah, I've heard of some people doing that. Natalie Pandora has also summoned a dragon. Yatta! That music you hear is the music from uh, Chrono Trigger. We have lots of dragons now helping us on this journey as we set out. Uh, Geek says I started learning Japanese on a whim at 37 years old. No reason. It feels like a really cool puzzle I can spend the rest of my life solving. That's exactly what I think. That's a great way to put it. Uh, I find it exciting. Never thought I'd take up a second language, least of all Japanese, but here we are. Tanoshine! I agree completely. Very well, good way to put it. That's really inspiring, too, to start at a bit of a later age. You can no, I mean, even if you were double your age, if you're in your 70s or 80s, you could still have fun learning a language. It's supposed to help with your mind even later in age to kind of stave off things like Alzheimer's. So learning a language, no matter what age you are, can be a great hobby, if nothing else. So where in the world are we going? I feel like we're just going in circles here. Let's look at our map for once. Okay, so we're going north. We're look like looks like we're pointing the right way here. So up that path. Akira, tabidatsu mai ni. So before you go on your journey, kyokai de oinori shite iku to ii. So it'd be good if you prayed before you go. Soto wa mamono ga itte. So there are monsters outside. It's dangerous. Abunai, dangerous. So a couple more comments. Uh, yeah, it could be difficult, Rika Chet, to get a, to be a volunteer at a temple. I'm not sure. I heard about more people doing it in Thailand. Actually, I was in Thailand for four months of my life, and people did it there. It seemed like it was possible in Thailand. That would be cool too. Um, Kotatsu Kun says, "I'm glad I found this channel. This is this is the way I would like to learn, as it is very interactive. Nice." Um, although I will say, I, I, I view this as kind of a supplement to learning Japanese. If you want to learn Japanese as effectively as possible, probably having some system to learn outside of video games, 
with more traditional methods, like whether it's a textbook or uh, or reading or flashcards like we talked about, that probably is good too. Some people do on-key flashcards as they watch this stream too. That can work. I used to watch Netflix shows in Japanese as I would do on-key. I recommend doing that kind of thing. So who made this game? Uh, good question. So again, he's talking about if you pray, um, even if you're defeated by monsters, you can start out where you prayed. I've seen so much talk about this praying at the church from this guy that I don't even want to read all that right now. Um, out loud. We get the idea. We can save by praying. Uh, wait a minute, though. We want to go to that shop. Where is that shop? Uh, Geek says, thanks, folks. I had a stroke two years ago. Suffered some lasting memory retention issues. Japanese has helped me heal. Ooh, that is really interesting, actually. I once was tutoring a girl who uh, was dyslexic. Um, meaning reading was a challenge, but it seemed like Japanese actually helped her with that issue as well. So it seems like learning another language, and maybe specifically Japanese for some people, can help with different kinds of mental issues. Um, it seems like, for whatever reason, the kana, see the kana here? They're full syllables, not just letters. Like with English, for whatever reason, with her dyslexia, that helped. Having these kana seemed easier to parse and process with reading. The images, I think, helped. So that's an inspiring story. Hopefully you can inspire other people too. How many hours of day study studying Japanese do you recommend? Uh, it's really depending on your schedule. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a time in my life when I put almost all my free time and work time when I lived in Japan into Japanese. Um, so it really depends. But if you make it a hobby, like how much time do you spend on your hobbies? do that. It's really, it, it scale is based on the time that you have. So anyone know where this shop is? That's the church. Let's look again here. Uh, you'd think the shop you can see on here, uh, probably that one with like a feather or something. Is this the shop? Not sure what that feather thing is. Yeah, geek, that makes a lot of sense. Using different parts of your brain could help with that kind of thing, I would think. That's very inspiring to me. It's cool, as a Japanese teacher, to see different ways that Japanese can be helpful in people's lives. Beyond just learning a language to communicate, it can actually help your brain, it can help other parts of your life, potentially. Not to say in any way that Japanese or any language is like a cure-all, I'm not saying that, but it's cool to see there are other facets to think about. Um, Akira! Tabi ni derun datte ne. So you're going on a journey, aren't you? Uh, soto wa, so outside again, we're seeing soto outside. Um, mamono ga datte, so there are monsters that will appear, and again, the keyword, abunai, it's dangerous. So abunai kara, so because it's dangerous, uh, you can get prepared here. Again, junbi, preparation. Okay, so this is your general store. What would you like to do? Let's say kai ni kita, we can come to buy. Um, dore o omotome desu ka? So which, which would you like? So let's see, so this uh, Cypher's bow we have already. I don't think we need that. Um, we have this shield already. Um, bandana we don't have. So we can maybe get that. Let's see, how many gold? That's 45 gold and we currently have 235. Uh, we have some clothes, that could be good. Um, habibito no fuku. So traveler's garb or traveler's clothes. So tabibito ni ayo sararu. So it is worn lovingly by uh, travelers. Jobu na asa no fuku. So asa means hemp. So it's like a clothing made of hemp fabric. Um, and then jobu means sturdy. Hmm. So it seems like maybe these two we should buy. Since our mom gave us that money, we might as well, I suppose. Let's buy that. Um, 
Nana Gorodo ni narimasu ka? So that comes to 70 gold. Would you like to get that? Hai! Okay, so let's put it on Akira. Sasoku. So be nasaimasu ka? So would you like to equip it right away? Hai! Let's do it. So that is equipped. Now let's go to Bandana. So it says Goku Arifureta. So that means very common bandana. Futsu no bandana. Very common bandana. I don't like the smell of hemp. Cyber Kitty, konnichiwa. So let's get that too. And then let's equip that right away as well. Push. I think we're good. We have. Already we have uh, eight, you can see there. So Zen means total, Shoji means to hold or to have. So we have in total, and then Su means number. So Zen, Joji, Su, Hakko. So we have eight. I think eight's enough. And then Dokukeshi, we have one of those. That's an antidote. I think we're okay for now. You're wondering about da at the end of sentences? I just talked yesterday about da a little bit, or maybe that was two days ago. Uh, Tofugu, the website, did a recent write up on da and desu. I recommend Googling if you're interested in it. But the basics is, is that. Ending a sentence with da is a more informal ending that kind of expresses the inner feelings often of the person using da. So if she says da to end a sentence instead of desu, it kind of means she's maybe a bit closer to that person and she's talking about her inner feelings maybe. But that uh, tofugu write-up was quite good. It's long. But if you want to see the differences between da and desu, I haven't seen many more write-ups better than, or in more in-depth than that one. And yeah, people saying consistency is key, absolutely. We always say every day, every day, that's the important thing if you want to learn a language or really anything. Do it every day or at least every week. Loka Castle says, I saw your post on Reddit, just want to say I love this. The only other person I know of who did something similar Unfortunately, dropped a ser series early on. Um, yeah, that's honestly why I am doing this. Before I started this, I uh, did research, and I looked up all the series, all the people that have done this kind of thing. Like, for a while, Japanese From Zero um, actually played this game. But they did, I think, like two videos and then stopped. Um, other people have done it, they stopped. Pretty much everyone has quit, and I thought... I'm a Japanese teacher, I can do this, I play Japanese games anyway. So what if the difference with mine is I just do it and I just don't stop? <laughs> like, I've learned why people stop. There aren't necessarily views in it. There's not necessarily money in it. But there's value in it, so that's why I'm doing it. I'd be playing Japanese games anyway. So the difference is, yeah, it takes a lot of energy and time. Uh, but, I don't know. It seems like it should exist in the world. That's really what it boils down to. I will say, though, the one other group that has not stopped is Game Grammar. You can check them out on YouTube as well. So they started before me. They've been going about four years. I've been going about two years. Um, and they have not stopped. They've evolved a bit. They have a new narrator now who visited us yesterday. Junkcracker is his name on Twitch. But they also have not stopped. So check them out. They played Pokemon games in Japanese. Right now they're doing Undertale in Japanese, so check them out on YouTube. Um, but you're right, most people who've tried a project like this, they have stopped early. Either it's too difficult, or they're just not getting the views, or both. I was thinking of Japanese from zero with this. Yeah, they did it! And uh, I watched his video, and I thought... Like, he did it, but he stopped. I think... And I also, like, noticed, like, he clearly does not play games in Japanese as I was watching. I was like... Like, I actually play games in Japanese. <laughs> so... 
I should do it. <laughs> like, he quit. He can do other videos that are, you know, his style. But this is really my style. Hack says you should probably do a better job at staying on topic. That's the point. So staying on topic, let's look at our map. Let's go north. So everyone's gathering in the village to see us. Once in a while getting off topic I think is okay too, because the topics raised in chat are important too. That's part of it, is uh, all of us here in chat, we are all party members on this journey. If we have things to talk about, that's fine. Oh, okay. So I do a better job at staying on topic than Japanese from Zero, not trying to critique you. Ah, okay, I'll take the compliment then. I'm not sure if that's true, but I'll take the compliment. Um... Uh, Akira! Kokoro bozoku natara itsu demo. Kono mura ni morote kinasayo. So if you ever get lonely, come back to this village. Yeah, some meandering is definitely fun. I mean, that's really what life is kind of about. What, Like, taking a journey, like a, re a trip in real life. It's, it's like little nook and crannies that you find around the corner that can really be fun and unique sometimes. My advice always, if people go to Japan, Go inside random doors in Japan. Don't go in like the doors that are obvious, that are familiar like McDonald's. Go inside like the random unmarked doors that are, you know, some like little hole in the wall okonomiyaki shop. Go there. Because there you'll have a real experience. You'll have a real conversation with people that are like, whoa, who is this person? That's where you need to go. That's where adventure truly is waiting for you. But don't get me wrong, go to McDonald's too. That's fun too, once in a while. In Japan anyway. More fun in Japan than in the US, I would say. So everyone is your family. Minna. Anata no kazoku. Nanda kara ne. So if you, if you get lonely, come back because everyone is your friend. And by the way, welcome to the people who just followed. Look, a castle. Low priest. Nice names. Welcome. Uh, look, a castle says, well. Uh, Ataiso, konnichiwa, genki desu yo. Um, well, 187 episodes is enough. I could have a lot of entertainment from VODs. Yeah, we have a lot. Super cool that you've done this much. Really appreciate it. I've been really bad about consistency. I think community like this helps. Cool, good to hear. I'm afraid to go into izakayas. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I recommend if you can, try to push through the fear. Like, use the fear as, I don't know a kind of fun challenge, and then just go in and see what happens. I recommend going, yeah, not in, like, scary doors. Don't go in scary doors, but like, I mean the doors that are labeled with Japanese characters that you might not understand, but are clearly a restaurant of some kind. Go in and see what you find. Ah, Akirate, ima kara deru kara aru o koku ni ikun desho. So, Akira, you're going to this Empire, Deru Kararu now, aren't you? Ii na? Urayamashii na? Ah, I'm so jealous. Uh, De Deru Kararu Okoku wa Konomuro Dette. So once you leave this village, if you go all the way north, you'll find this kingdom. It's very far. Sugoi, Toi. So toi means far. This te means that he's heard it's far. And then this is where we're going. Deru kararu okoku. And this is what we need to know. Kita ni iku. We need to go north. So how far north? Zuto. A long way. Keep going north. Uh, so people are talking again about uh, learn Japanese from zero. George Trombley is a great teacher. His videos are great to resource early on, but yeah, I really like what Japanese Quest is doing here. Yeah, I don't really like to compare what we do to other Japanese teachers. We're doing kind of a different thing here. Everyone is teaching, in my mind, in a different way. This is not the best way to learn Japanese. What it is, is it's a different way. It's a unique way to learn Japanese. 
Um, what I know about Japanese from Zero, a lot of people love those books. Some people find them to be better for self-study than uh, Genki, but it just dep depends. Everyone learns in a different way. This stream hopefully is for people that learn in a visual way or, or have an interest in games. If you can learn from things that you love, that can really motivate you. So that's the hope here. Demone, but Ishiromura to chigatte. So unlike this village, hito ga ippai hidorashi. So it seems like there's a lot of people there. Sugoi nigiyaka na tokoro nandatte. So I heard it's a very lively place. Yeah, and that's true, Cyber Kitty. In a way, you just need to pick a resource. It always, in a way, it doesn't matter that much. Just pick something that's worked for other people, try it, go with that, and then tweak things as you go. Change things as you go based on your intuition. So if you want to become strong, fight monsters. So look, how do you say fight monsters? Mamono to tatakao. Tatakao is to fight. Mamono, monster. And then, dondon tatakai no keike no Then you'll get the experience of gradually uh, building up battle experience. Keike means experience. Tatakai no keike, battle experience. Tara jibun yori shioi mamono to no tatakai de. Um, just in, when it comes to fighting monsters that are stronger than you, um, this is a useful grammar piece here. Yori means than, so jibun means you. So jibun yori, so more than you. If there's a monster stronger than you, tsuyoi means strong. Mamono means monster. So tsuyoi mamono. So if you find a monster stronger than you, it's dangerous, so it, running is fine too. Run, running is also taisetsu, important. Nigeru koto mo taisetsu. So mo also, so it's also important to know when to run. Muri wa kinmotsu dakura na. So yeah, overdoing it is not a good thing, it's forbidden. But yeah, someone who mentioned the uh, Japanese from Zero, George Trombley, you could look up that video from a couple of years ago that I saw, um, because he played the beginning of this game as well. You get a diff different perspective if you watch his video on the beginning of Dragon Quest. Although I, I think that probably on his version, I think he, maybe he played on a uh, like Game Boy. Um, so it might have Furigana. I'm not sure if it has Furigana. Yo yo shupatane. So finally, it is your uh, time to set out on your journey. Tabi datara shibaraku wa mura ni mororenai kamoshirenai. So you may not return to this village for a while. Mura no minna ni wa aisatsu shita kai. So have you said your goodbye to everyone? Um, kono mura no koto o mei ni yatsuketa kai. Have you burnt the image of this village into your into your eyes. So me means I. Me ni yatsukeru. So to burn into your eyes or to burn into your brain, I guess. Are you ready to to leave? I think we are ready. So we'll say, Hai! Wakatta wa sa! Oiki. So, understood. Let's, you can, let's go. <laughs> so he's talking again about our grandfather. So I wish that your grandfather could have seen you now. Your gallant figure right now. Yushi, down here. Kind of your gallant figure I wish I could have shown it to your grandfather. Yeah. 
連れてきたのは確か16年前じゃったの Ha, this is funny.、Uh, so, Hachi says, I imagine we might get a lot of Japanese Quest, Japanese from Zero crossover. I feel like there might be a shared personality type of those folks. Really? Huh. Never considered that. I had considered a crossover with、uh, Game Grammar because they play games as well. They're similar to what we do, except they're on YouTube.、Um, I haven't tried the Japanese from Zero books, but the videos are great for beginners like me. I've heard the books a lot of people enjoy too.、Um, So he kind of caught himself. He kind of caught himself saying what he shouldn't be saying. Because I guess it's a secret. So he first used this verb, but then he caught himself. So hiro means to pick up. So he's saying it's been 16 years since your grandfather picked you up and he says, oh, wait a minute. I mean, uh, brought you here. He changed the verb to surete kita. So brought you here. So he picked us up out of a river. But I guess that's a secret that this mayor or this、uh, village chief knows about that he's trying to keep secret. So you were just a normal, completely normal kid, I thought. I, couldn't, I can't believe you're the reincarnation of the hero. Again, yesterday we learned this key. Word reincarnation. Umare kawari. So, what kind of reincarnation? Yusha no. Umare kawari. The reincarnation of the hero. Yusha to a tenset no eiyu. So, no mukashi oi naru yami o harai. Sekai no skutta jimbuts to kiku. So, that hero is a legendary hero. <laughs> So, this word here, a also kind of means hero, like a legendary hero. So, yeah, densetsu means legend, just like in the title for Legend of Zelda. Sereda no densetsu. Seiken densetsu. A lot of popular Japanese games have this word legend in them.、Um, so, Soda Mukashi, so long ago, that hero of legend cleared out this great darkness and saved the world. Sekai o suku, to save the world. Then Jinbutsu, so he was the person who saved the world, it is said. So, to be such an amazing person, I kind of can't believe you're them. But if your grandfather Teo said that, maybe it is true. And if you talk to that,、uh, the king of that kingdom, Deru Kadaru, could you help out our village a bit too? So if he knows that we've raised the hero in this village, maybe he'll give us some kind of, I don't know, a reward? Hobi means reward.、Uh, I see a comment over there. I bought Japanese from Zero One、uh, and Kanji, and personally I find doing the book and watching the lesson is nifty, plus his community is pretty friendly. Cool. So you can ask questions on Discord, good to know. Yeah, we have a Discord too if anyone wants to check out our Discord.、Uh, so we're about to set out now on our journey finally. So, Soncho,、uh, village leader, that is inappropriate. <laughs> ah, Frankie, Mero, Tonichua.、Uh, no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Keyword here, Jodan, joke. In any case, Akira. So, in any case, from now on, a fate that we can't even imagine may be waiting for you.
So as you go leaving your hometown, we'll give you this uh, map of the world. If you get lost, take a look at this map. Chizu, you see there in the middle for the map. So Akira wa Rotozaria no Chizu o uketotta. Okay, why don't we learn this sentence today, too? Um, if you can write that sentence in chat, we can add that to our sentence. Chronicle. Um, uketoru is the key verb there, to receive. Someone in chat can write that. And uh, I will be right back. And then when I get back, hopefully someone will be able to write that. We can add it to our sentence, Chronicle. Itakimasu. I will be right back. Tadaima. Okay, I'm back. Looks like Unbox just wrote it. Say name with Meiro. Nicely done. Let's do our sound for unlocking this sentence in our minds. And I will break it down in more detail. Okay. The sentence is now unlocked. So, Akira wa... So, wa marking Akira as the topic of this sentence. Who we're talking about, so as for Akira. Um, Roto Zetaria. So that's the name of this world. Um, so it's describing the map. Chizu means map. So the map of this world. O. So O is marking this as the object. Chizu O. Uketotta. So Ta marking this as the past form. So, Akira received the map of the world. It is called Rotoze Tashia. Thanks to everyone who wrote that. And welcome to anyone just joining us. Yokozo, Japanese Questaway. 
Ooh, nice. So we will give this horse to you as well. So this is the most uh, good looking horse in all of the town. D&D, &D, Hanabi. Ooh, I like that name. Where did you get that name from? Hanabi means fireworks, and D&D, I'm guessing, means Dungeons and Dragons. It's kind of a cool, uh, just sound to it. D&D, Hanabi. So, leaving the village, just like we heard before. Masugu Kitae. So, go straight north. Kita, north. Then, Mukaiba. So, if you head north, this Ba form means so if. Um... Then you will find the this Deru Deru Kadaru Okoku. Okoku means an empire. Um, D and D. That's right. Nice. Yeah, I like the sound of it. Very solid username. It's the kind of thing that I feel like I would think of if I played D and D. I've never played it, but I want to play it. I used to play as the game master Star Wars role playing game when I was young. That was fun. Okay, let's see here. So I'm thinking this word may be new. Okoku. Kingdom, monarchy. Let's break it down. So the first kanji just means king. Second kanji means country. So put king and country together, what do you get? You get a kingdom. So we're right, we're right now setting out to go on a kingdom. Oh, nice. That's even better. My name is Hannah. My nickname is Hanabi. That's perfect, then. <laughs> nice. And then let's uh, add this to our power level. We have not learned it. It doesn't show up green as a duplicate. If it was a duplicate, it would show up like this. So we've now leveled up with the power of the kingdom. Looks like our power level is accurate, though. I must have wrote it wrong before. Let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Scouter says her power level is now 1355. <laughs> okay, you are my son that I'm so proud of. So even if it gets difficult, don't give up. You can do your best and uh and come back. Um, Kujiku can mean like to, to give up or to like break down. So don't give up. This zu, this zu mi here means to not do that. So don't give up. Instead, gambaru, to do your best and then kuru, you can come back. Why? Because jiman, she is proud of us. Jiman no musuko. Jiman is proud. This word, have we learned this word, I wonder? Tsudai. So, tsudai koto ga atara, so if there are difficult things. Uh, Junkcracker, how can you contain such power? <laughs> We're working on it, Junkcracker. We mentioned to you earlier, by the way. Were you here? We gave a shout out to Game Grammar and Junkcracker earlier. Because people are saying that uh, they had seen lots of people try to teach like this, but they all kind of stopped after doing it a few times. What I said is. The difference here is, at least for a while, we've done 185 episodes, we just keep going. We don't stop. And I was saying Game Grammar 2 has been going for four years now. So we don't stop. Game Grammar doesn't stop. Check out Game Grammar. If your headache's gone, you can do it. We will pray for your headache to be gone. <laughs> In one of these temples later, maybe. Okay, so let's look for this word. So N3 word, common word, Sudai. Painful, bitter, tough, hard, cruel, harsh. So if you have some difficult trials, she is saying, um, don't give up. You can you can do it. You can come back. Uh, Zythra says, someone told me to come here. Took Japanese in high school for four years. Relearning now, refreshing my brain with what I learned. So I'm back at beginner level. Uh... Welcome! 
It's good to see you. Yeah, the hope is people who have studied some Japanese or people who are even new to Japanese, you can you kind of see Japanese in action here. You can apply and try out some of your Japanese and see, if, see it appearing in a, in a safe way. So this we've learned before as karai, but we may not have learned it as sudai. Difficult. Um, anyway, let's just leave that one off for now because we did learn the kanji before. Because it can mean spicy. It's a different reading. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Did someone talk about having dreams in Japanese? It used to be my goal to dream in Japanese so I could study in Japanese as well. I told you about my language lunk, my language monk phase, where I studied Japanese all the time for nine months. My goal then was to study even when I was sleeping in dreams, and to be honest, it kind of worked. I'd have conversations in Japanese in my dreams as well. And it seemed like that was helpful too in a strange way. Oh, can you guys pick out what people are saying? So it's like a loop of almost every conceivable have a good journey type of idea. Pretty interesting. I recommend put this on a loop. If you're watching on YouTube, just loop it. And uh, if you just loop this and listen to it, maybe for the rest of your life, you'll have everything you need to say for like a goodbye. So let me, I'm gonna time this. I'm gonna do a loop for 30 full seconds. Anyone watching on YouTube? You can loop this for 30 seconds, starting Ichi, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go! Okay, 30 seconds. Hi, YouTube. That's the loop. Oh, so she finally came. It looks like so. Here, take this. Uh, yesterday, I made this for you when I heard you'd be going on a journey. I quickly made this. So, Isoide, in a hurry. So I made this. Akira wa Emma no omamori wo uke totta. So we now have this amulet from Emma. A supanji. Interesting name, spongy potato. Welcome. Uh, Junkrecker says, by the way. If I need to host someone, show you that online. Good to know. Um, so she is saying here, Muro datte, um, the empire is in the north. Again, we keep seeing this word for north. Kita, north. Um, so again, we're seeing this a lot too. There are monsters outside. Mamono ga datte. Ah, this time they, they've usually been saying abunai for dangerous. Here we see kiken for dangerous. So because it's dangerous, Take this amulet with you. So no mamori wo shikari ni o iku no yo. So yeah, tightly um, put it onto your body. Keep it with you. Yeah, Junkrecker, I'm, I'm curious why they changed that. Like, I actually do like some of the new design. Um, I feel like for all of our words that we have on this channel, it kind of looks good for the font. But I'm wondering why they don't have the follower numbers anymore. Um, I guess in a way, maybe they don't want people to like feel like they need to compete in that way. But what I wonder is if it would make less people follow, because they're not as conscious of that number or the concept of followers. So it's kind of an interesting decision they made. I wonder why. Anyone have a theory on that? 
Uh, so I don't know what kind of mission you'll have, but don't forget our village, no matter where you are. Kono, this, Muda, village, Kono Muda no Koto. So things about this village. Don't forget us. Don't forget this village. Yeah, when you click follower, it clears the chat. Extremely annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. It's strange. Why? I wonder why they do that. It's. I mean, I guess you could open it in another tab, but it's just strange. It seems like it... I don't know. I suppose it could help small streamers if you don't know that they have, like, five followers, <laughs> you know? Because then you might follow them because they look the same as, like, Ninja, who has, like, 10 million followers. Maybe that's the thinking? Not sure. Ah, yeah, good question, Chinazo. Um, so, Watashi means... I. So, Watashi ni wa... Wakaranai. So, I... Or, like, as for me, I don't know what kind of mission lies ahead for you. Kedo, but... So, Kedo here means although... No matter where you go, don't forget us. Don't forget this village. Yeah, Junkcracker, that sounds good. Um, I actually recall that the guy from Japanese from Zero did a video explaining that to you, and it seemed like people found it helpful. Um, well, let's take a look. So Niwa kind of becomes a particle that's commonly seen. It's kind of combining these two particles into into one, meaning four in regard to um, or in this case, kind of like as for me, I don't really know. But it's kind of like putting the focus on her. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level's rising, Nappa. Thanks for asking. So, please, come back. Come back, Genki. Come back in one piece. So often when people are talking about them themselves, they'll say something like that, like Watashi niwa or Ore niwa. So you're saying something for you in particular. Uh, uma no yobikata. So this is a way to call your horse. Uma ni noteru aida wa. So when you're riding the horse, aruitaru toki yori mo. So more than when you're walking, hayaku irosuru koto ga dekimasu. You can move faster than when you're just walking. Uma kara orite. So when you get down from your horse, saki ni sunde mo fieldo ga aru. Uma yobi no suzu o naraseba doko kara tomonaku. Okay, so the key thing here is this. The thing you see in quotes, so these Japanese quotes are brackets. Kind of pulls your eye to those words. So it's talking about the, the horse calling bells. That's what we need, this thing. So if you ring that, your horse will come out of nowhere. Good to know. For items? Uh, not in that same way, really. I don't see it. Let's talk to this guy. Um, oh, Akira. So it looks like you got a horse and a map from the village headsman. So how about I teach you something good? So next to me... Um, uh, it's the kind of the same information, so I don't know if I need to read all of this, but, uh, let's look at some of the key stuff. Um, Umayobi no Kane. So Kane bell. This is that bell. So if you ring it, again, Suguni, soon, your horse will come. 
So ring it when you want to move by horse. So uma de, so using the horse. Iro shitai, so you want to move using the horse. So toki ni, so toki means time. So time when you want to move by horse. Narasunda, so then you can ring it. Michi ni mayotara, Y button de. So if you get lost, you can press the Y button and then look at the map. Chizu wo miru toi. Chizu wo mitteru toki. So when you're looking at the map, A button no oseba. If you press the A button, sara ni kuwashi jōgō ga wakaru zō. So you can see even more detailed information. See the key noun there? Jōhō information. What kind of information? Detailed information. Kuwashi jōhō. Ga wakaru. So you'll understand some more detailed information. Oh nice, Pika says, just got my copy of Dragon Quest 11s. Yatta! I'm guessing you probably got the English copy. The cool thing is now there's Japanese voices on the English copy too, which is awesome. Vile, good morning. And you can get the Japanese demo for free if you want to try that too, if you want to read the Japanese too. You can get the Japanese demo for free on the eShop. Does the PC version Japanese have Japanese? I believe it may. Can anyone answer that? So what I'm saying right now, you can see in the kind of option menu with like the travel, the journey information. So if you forget, just check that out. Oh nice, we got our horse! We're finally out in the world! Ooh, and you can like dash on the horse too. Uh, can't you just change the language in the console for Japanese? You can in some games like Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey, but unfortunately for this game, you cannot. The reason is, um, they want... it's, it's just a region economics thing. In Japan, this game is... like, about... $25 more expensive. So they make Japanese people pay more for the game. So they force them to get the Japanese store version. Otherwise they could pay less, get the English version. So unfortunately, I just wish every version had all languages, but unfortunately that's not the case. Someday we'll live in that language utopia. Well, I did not think we could get attacked on the horse. What? We have Pyako. Yeah, we have Pyako back. That was our name of our horse in, uh, Breath of the Wild. Slime Otachi wo yatsuketa. So we defeated the slime. Um, yon pointo no keikenchi. So we got four points experience and four gold. Nice. Ooh, and a treasure. Yakuso. We got some herbs. Yeah, I feel like language options are getting better. One mission we have on Japanese Quest is if ever any language or like uh, game designers in charge of language options are watching, please. Let's make a world where all languages are available. At least all languages that the game has that exist in the, in the world, please give us a way to download all of them. Uh, I think, don't they have this on PC as well, or no? Or is it later on PC? Rocket Catherine! Suge! Subscribe for two months, Twitch Prime. Arigato! Subscribe! Thank you very much, Rocket Catherine. And also, good to see you again. Oh! Akira Janaka. Oh, if, if it isn't Akira. By the way, I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira, so that's what we named this character. Akira. Uh, iyo iyo, shupatsuka. Ah, so you're finally leaving. Kyo tsukete ikeyo. So be careful and go on your journey. Kono saki wa hikyo napu ga na mitsurin. Okay, so ahead is the secret area of the, uh, the napu ga na, um, Jungle. Mamono mo tsuyoku, so the, the monsters are strong. 
So right now you can't do anything against these monsters. Uh, so for right now, head north. Or it doesn't say north, but head to uh, the kingdom. So I guess that's the wrong way for now. Let's look at the map. So we want to go north. Ah, so there's that kind of pass we need to go through. Okay. This is a pretty beautiful game. We can see the star back there that's supposedly the the hero watching over us. You can see the birds in the sky. Uh, Cyber Kitty asks, do you use... Can you use Europe and American credit card to buy stuff on Amazon? JapaneseAmazon.com? Yeah, you can. I use my American credit card to buy on that. The, uh... Amazon Japan. I get all my books there, pretty much, and read on my Kindle. So I read lots of Japanese books from Amazon Japan on my Kindle that I also got in the American store. I think all you need is on your account is a Japanese address. I just use my old address from when I lived in Japan, like, over 10 years ago. Um... You could probably just make up any Japanese address. You could like use the address for Nintendo or something. It doesn't really matter as long as you're not sending stuff there anyway. Well, they're not going to ship you stuff if you're not wanting to ship stuff. You can have more than one address on there. So like, I still order from there, but I send it to my address here. Even though I have my Japanese address on there to like make it legit. Uh, Junk Cracker, it seems like more and more things they do ship out of... Japan now, though, on the Japanese Amazon. Like, I got some Japanese books and stuff recently sent that they did not have a Kindle version for. Yeah, I mostly get digital stuff on Amazon Japan, but some stuff I have sent here, too. It seems like they got better about sending out of the country now, because they want that money. Ah, uh, you can't get used things? Yeah, that, that may well be. Again, all that stuff's kind of boilerplate, so we don't read through all that. The main keywords are... Keikenchi, experience points. Keiken means experience. And then chi means, like, the amount. A lot of that stuff you can get secondhand on the, uh, just normal Amazon, though, if people sometimes have Japanese stuff there. Ah, Great Ape Greg! Yep, we are leveling up on a Saturday stream for once. We're playing a new game. Dragon Quest XI. The first one is now... Yatta! Level ga san kara ni agatta. So we leveled up to level 4. Check out our stats. They went up. We broke those down in the first video. If you want to see our first video, we broke down all of these menus. That's currently on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Japanese Quest. It's also linked to the top. Good to see you, Great Up Greg. And uh, Kudo Jin, hello from Germany. Oh, nice. I feel like I haven't seen someone from Germany who, on chat for a while who's mentioned Germany. Good to see you. The Japanese version of Dragon Quest XI good for beginners to learn Japanese? Uh, I would say compared to other games, yeah. Because it has Furigana, which helps you read Kanji can look things up if you don't know words. Uh, the language is fairly... It's probably a bit easier than average for games. Uh, and the Furigana helps a lot to read. So, I mean, any game's going to be a challenge at a beginner level. But compared to other games, I'd say it's a pretty good one. Ooh, maybe we should use some of our new stuff. Let's look at our thing. So, this is what we have. Look at our battle options. This one. Kogeki, attack. Let's try this one, though. Jumon, spell. Oh, right. I forgot we can move around, too. During battle. It's kind of funny. We're in a battle. You can run around, look at your opponent. But there's no... Attacking unless we choose the attack. So it's kind of like old school games, like Final Fantasy VII type games. But now we can move around. 
Let's see if we can attack from this far, this range, too. Oh no, it says... Kono Sento Kara Nigemasu Ka? Cyber Kitty has summoned a dragon! That will help us in this battle. Uh, so, are you running from this battle? Let's, uh... Yeah, we're not running. Uh, let's use this dragon and let's do some fire. So Cyber Kitty summoned this dragon. Let's say that dragon did that fire. That works. This is Dragon Quest, after all. We do need more dragons. Ikujinashi, eh? Omoshiroi namae desu ne. Ikujinashi. Let's look up that word. <laughs> this word I remember. It was used in a very famous scene on Terrace House, which is a good show to watch on Netflix if you want natural Japanese. So, Ikuji is like your self respect, your self confidence, your guts. So, can you think of what that would mean if you add nashi to it? It means you have no guts. A coward, a sissy, a weakling. So, we were just joined by Ikuji Nashi. Yokoso! Japanese customer. Welcome, Ikuji Nashi. So, good word. Why don't we learn this word today, actually? It's a good time to learn it. Um, you can see this one is a common word. It's, to be honest, a little bit rare. I'm guessing a lot of people in chat might not know this word. Um, but let's add both. Let's level up with the power of this word that we learned from this name. So, ikuji, self-respect, self-confidence, guts. And then let's learn... Ikujinashi as well. We are now powering up with the power of cowardice. So even negative things like being a coward, you can you can gain from. We can gain power from being a coward, being a weakling. Our weakness is our strength. Here we go. So nashi is just negating that. So ikuji, self-respect, self-confidence, guts, ikujinashi, coward, timid creature. And what I remember from a terrace house, there was a guy and a girl. It's kind of about romance in that show. It's a lot reality show, kind of like the real world. And uh, this girl wrote, this guy had an, a, an omelet. So she made him an omelet. But then on the omelet, she wrote in ketchup. She wrote, Ikujinashi. Ikuji. She wrote it just like this in ketchup. I just learned that my color setup here works really well for writing this kind of scenario. Ketchup on an omelet. This is like what this setup was destined for. So she wrote in ketchup on this omelet, you're a coward. And the reason she wrote that is because I think they wanted a date and like he just didn't have the guts to like koku hakuta her, like to confess that he liked her. Or like he didn't have the guts to kiss her. I don't remember exactly the situation. But then right after he saw that, he was so mad. And he was so like inflamed by that that he went over. And I think he just like kissed her right away. So watch that Terrace House. It was the, uh, the one in Tokyo. Tokyo Boys and Girls, I believe it was called. Steak Bentley has summoned a dragon. We got hype for Japanese here today. Let's make our power level go up. So look at our power level, lower right. Dragons are being summoned, making our power level. And hype go even higher. Let's go to Quest Island. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his By the way, I think level? we might be close to 50 subscribers for the first time. If we reach 50 subscribers, we get a new emote. So let's get some hype in the chat. We're very close, I think, now to that goal. So I'm gonna say power up emote. We are powering up. If we get to that 50 goal, we can unlock a new emote. Uh, let me just double check on my Twitch thing. Uh, I'm gonna check now what our subscribers is at. We are at 51. We made it. So we've unlocked this new emote. Yatta. Yatta ze. Ateso is now hosting with one viewer. So for the first time, we've made it to 50 subscribers. We've never really pushed subscribers in a big way. Um, we've never made it, you know, I've never had a thing where, like, we have a goal of, like, something out of 50. So without even having it as the goal, we made it to 50 subscribers, which is awesome. So we've leveled up, and our power level is now 
1357. A new emote has been unlocked and uh, the hype is real for Japanese on Twitch. 50 is huge, man. You have about as many subs as viewers. It's pretty rare, I think. Yatase! We did it! I'm so surprised, actually. Did not think we'd make it. I thought if we did make it, it would be during September when they're half price, but now it's over. But now we've made it. That's awesome. Uh, so someone dropped a treasure chest. Um, and we got, again, herb, yakuso. Yeah, thank you for the congrats, everyone. Um, it's been a long time. We finally made it to 50 subs. So that means all the possible five emotes for being an affiliate we've now unlocked. Now if we want more emotes, we have to get partner. Which could be a challenge because we need 75 concurrent viewers on average. We got over 100 a couple days ago when we had that Reddit mojo, but uh, 75 for an educational stream could be a challenge. I think we could do it someday potentially, but it's it would be a challenge. But challenges, it's kind of what it's about with learning a language too, so challenges are good. You never know, someday, if you keep working, you can overcome challenges. Uh, you could do it if more people knew about your channel. Some just don't know you exist, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's a possibility. And I think from Twitch's end, if they, if Twitch was aware of our stream in some way, I mean, they probably want this kind of content on Twitch to expand into kind of more educational types of content that normally you might find on YouTube, but uh, to get this more of this kind of stuff on Twitch would be a nice way for them to expand, probably. Yeah, possibly, Junkfragger. Um, right now we have a schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, but all other secret times, like now, we stream as well. Boy! Sokono Nichan. So you. The uh the young man over there. Okay, so you're a, a beginner adventurer, right? If you just don't know anything and travel, it's very dangerous. Kiken Sigit, it's too dangerous. Uh, let's see here. Kiken means, again, danger. Kiken, danger. And then Sugiru means too much. So it's too dangerous if you just go out with knowing nothing. So Nanimo, nothing. Nanimo, shirane. So knowing nothing. And then Mama means like, so as that current state. So currently you knowing nothing, if you travel, that's too dangerous. So I'm going to teach you something good. Uh, Cyberkitty says, I just recommended you in my other discords. Ooh, awesome. Arigato. Yeah, if you like Japanese quests, spread the word. Um, we can still grow. And, uh, the more we grow, the more people can, uh, help out, give us their perspective. I feel like the more people we have, the larger community we have to draw on with, with knowledge that can help all of us. Because we're really all teachers here. Uh, if you're trying to underline things, your paint is too far up. Um, yeah, what I was doing was I was writing above these words. Yeah, it's kind of tricky because they don't exactly fit. Sometimes I go over. Maybe that's kind of weird because I'm crossing out. Um, as a general rule in chat, what would you like? I kind of do a bit of both. Do you think underline works better? The problem is there's furigana. So sometimes I want to point the furigana a little bit. Um, anyway, but yeah, sometimes when I look at it myself, it's a little confusing, so Junkracker, thanks for the comment. Okay, so over there, you can see the, uh, the remnants of a fire. Campfire. Um, takibi, it's a campfire. Takibi no ato. So the top line's easy, you can just go on top. 
Uh, so Opto means like kind of the remnants, the remains. So you can see that. If you see a place like that, you can camp and you can rest. Yasumu means to rest. We just broke down that kanji yesterday and I did a, a tweet about it with the clip from that stream yesterday if you want to check out our Twitter or Facebook. Our Facebook finally got to 100. Our Facebook by far has been our slowest social media experiment. It finally got to 100 likes. Even the Reddit for Japanese Quest is over 150. Even though on Reddit there's literally nothing because it seemed like people really didn't respond to it too much. With literally no content, we're over 150 on Reddit. But Facebook, every stream has been updated, we're only to 100 still. It's crazy how different social media is so different with growth. And on here we're almost up to 4,000, so it's a big difference. Okay, so if you want to camp, you can go to a, a fire like this, or remnants of a fire, you can camp, and then you can rest at night. You can just relax. This word here, nonbiri. Non, nonbiri tanoshimu. You can just relax and enjoy your time. Uh, let's look at that word, that's kind of a cool word, nonbiri. When I used to talk to Japanese people a lot on Skype, I would always see this word in people's ads they would write to like meet Skype friends. Everyone wanted to do this. Everyone wanted to carefree, at their leisure, talk to people. So you saw this word all the time. Nonbiri. Let's learn this word today. Let's gain the power of a... Relaxation, carefree, attitude. Nonbiri. Oh no! I guess we have learned it. Good review anyway. McGeorge. Konnichiwa. Have you thought about Learn Japanese to Survive? Hiragana and Katakana. Yeah, I have thought about that. I think it's very cheap with a kanji game. I've considered it. You mean on this stream? Or just in general? Uh, Hello X Drums. Yoko's a welcome. Power level is rising, Nappa. Thanks for asking. Yoroshiku, <laughs> welcome. Hello, X Drums. Good to see you. So he's saying, Nani? What? Do you think this place, if you're resting, you'll get attacked by monsters? Ah, uh, don't worry. You can, you can relax. So this statue here, you can see of the goddess statue. So she has a holy power that will not allow the uh, the monsters to come near. Not just that. Yep, ah, you can also pray and save your game just like the church, and also cure poison. Okay, here's another word we must learn, another sentence we must add to our power level, because this is really true for language learning, and this guy just said it. So often you might hear, more important than learning a language, you get used to a language, that's what he's saying. So if anyone can write this, you can write it in chat, you can add it to our sentence chronicle. So, narao yori, so more than learning. Nareru. So this nareru means to get used to. And then this lo kind of makes it a command form. So, more than learning, get used to it. And then this teyatsu means, you know, that thing. Yatsu is like a thing. That thing they say about how more than learning, it's about getting used to it. So just the first sentence here. If you can write this in chat, we can add this to our collective power level. But the main key core of it is, rather than learning, you get used to it. It's very true with the language. You can learn a language, you can read textbooks, but that can only go so far. Really, you need to jump in, you need to read it, you need to speak it, listen to it, and just get used to it. It's about getting used to it. So, narao yori, 
Anyone able to write that? Dekirukana. Anyway, let's move on. Someone can write that. That would be cool. But uh, the way he said it was a little trickier than just the core of it, which is pretty simple. Narao yori, yarare. Nicely done. You did write it, everyone wrote it, so let's do the sound of unlocking that sentence. One more time for everyone else who wrote it, nicely done. That's okay, we, we pretty much got it. 5, 9, 10. Welcome. Yokozo. Nicely done, nicely done. So these campsites are all over the world. Um, if you go to a new place, the first thing you do, I recommend camping. Let's look at the key noun here, or the key verb at the end. So by itself can be a noun, osusume, recommendation. If you add sudo to it, means to make a recommendation. So he's recommending that we camp when we find a new place. This say here is kind of for emphasis. So I really recommend that you, you camp. Then you can save your game, of course, and heal. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't say that. Uh, go to a new place. The first thing you want to do is go to campsites. That would be a bit strange. Okay, and finally, remember these words. Um, on a journey, camping is indispensable. Uh, let's look at this last thing. It's kind of like written as an aphorism, kind of an important saying. Kampu uh, seisuru mono wa, so mono means person. So those who master camping, master traveling, or master the journey. Tabi means journey. And then seisuru means to master or control or... You can look up that word actually. That's a word you don't see that much, but it works well for this aphorism. I, see, I feel like we saw that word in Breath of the Wild when it came to like controlling these big beasts in the game. So it's used in a more mechanical kind of way in that context. To like control. So can be to hold back emotions, to rein in, can be to get the better of or to control, to command. JHO has summoned a dragon! We got some hype! For Japanese here on Japanese Quest. The more dragons in Japanese Quest, the better. The more dragons in Dragon Quest, the better, I should say. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level and dragons, they are rising. Okay, that's all I have to tell you. Uh, if you have something you don't know at a camp, you can talk to me anytime. I will always be here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't understand. This guy, I think in this game, is always at every camp. So does that mean, is this guy like an android or something? And he's just, or is he a clone and he's just at every camp? Or is it like, he's got brothers, twin brothers at every camp? What's going on? Or, or is he like a super traveler that's outmaneuvering us on all of our journey and beating us to every campsite? Could be this guy's like a super high level traveler, like level 100, and he's just teleporting everywhere. Anyway, mysterious individual. Yeah, maybe you could say that. Okay, so let's try saving here. I don't know if he's at all the camps. Okay, I'm not sure if he is either. But either way, impressive little fat man. How do I get off this horse? Oh, I see. They tell us what we can do. Press ZR to dash, dash you. Press B for getting off the horse, oriru. So let's press B.
Is manga in Japanese good for your Japanese learning? Some people really like it. I haven't done that much of it myself. But when I lived in Japan, every week I got Jump, so I had to read Jump comics. I liked it because it had Furigana, just like this game, so I could read it quite well, even when I was at more like N5 level. But yeah, really what motivates you is the good content for you. Um, Takibi no Ato ga aru. So this campfire is here. Um, I think I'll say campfire even though it says Takibi no Ato, which means like after the kind of like remnants of campfire. It's annoying to say, I'm not sure how they translate it in English. I'm just going to say campfire. Um, koko de kyampu ga dekiso. Seems like you can camp here. Kyampu shimasu ka? Would you like to camp? Hai. Nani wo shimasu ka? So what would you like to do? Okay, if you do yasumu, you can regen all your HP and MP. MP to... HP to MP. So HP and MP will be recovered. Kaifuku sasemasu. So you will recover your... HP and MP, if you rest. Let's do that. Ooh, nice. So you can say, until when do you want to rest? Let's break this down. So, itsu means when. Itsumare, so until when. Itsumare, yasumimasu ka. So until when would you like to rest? Four options. Asamare, until morning. Hidumare, until... like noon. Yugatamare, until evening. Or yorumare, until night. Let's go till morning. Asamare. Yasumimashu. Akira wa asamare yasumu koto ni shita. So, this koto ni shita you see is like decided to do something. So, we have now decided to rest until morning. Yosh! Well, let's uh, again only do and make sure we save here. Uh, doko kara tomonaku, koe ga kikoru. So, from somewhere, nowhere in particular, we hear a voice. Koe, voice. Koe ga kikoru. We can hear a voice. Um, kami ni michibi kara reshi. So, this is kind of like holy speak again. So it's kind of saying like you sheep who has been brought here to God's garden. I don't feel like reading all this kind of like holy speech right now. Okay, so uh, what do we want to do? We just want to save. So, oinori o suru. So let's pray, let's save. Junkracker, nice comment. Anything you can use Nodu for, Nodu means to ride. You can probably use Oridu for to like get off. Hmm. Off the top of my head, yeah. I think so. There probably are some exceptions, I would guess, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let's save and we can overwrite that. Hirokuni Uagaki. So overwrite that record. Hi! Yeah, it definitely works for bus, that's for sure. Like, bus is the first one that jumped into my mind, that you see a lot with that. So we can say, Hai, Oke no Suzuki Masu. Continue our journey. Look at our map again, so we're heading north. That's not north. What's north? North is more this way. Oh, we can see the kingdom too. Ah, and the tree. Hora, mite. That's that word hora we learned today. It's often combined with mite to look. Hora, mite gozai. Take a look. We got the tree of life. We got the empire. That's where we're going. It's north. Kita, ni ikimashou. Let's go north. So can we do auto run with this? Yeah, you can. So I pressed auto run. I just am hold I just pressed the the left stick down. Obamacare. Yokozo, welcome. Um, or should I say Obamacare six six six? Anyway, 
Uh, so as we are auto running, let's see how far we get. Actually, let's not auto run. <laughs> let's just stop here. Um, this is where we're going. We can see the kingdom we're going to. We can see that tree of life. Oh no, just ran our horse into a dock. I think we'll end the stream here today. So I will say, Ciao, matane, mina, got it. Thanks everyone who joined this stream today. Uh, we will end the stream here on our horse, heading north. Finally going out on our journey. I will say, Ja, matane. See you guys next time. Uh, we will host someone, of course. We always host other Japanese teachers or streamers. So I will say, Ja, matane. See you next time. Thank you for all the subs today, all the dragons that were summoned. Uh, all the followers, welcome. We, for the first time, we got over 50 dragons. Over 50 subscribers. OHG is now a party member, welcome. Uh, Melodon, also here. Melmondon, welcome. So see you guys next time. A new emote was unlocked today. You'll see that emote maybe next time or sometime soon. They have to okay it first. I will most likely stream next Tuesday at 5 o'clock Central Time. Not sure. We might stream at a secret time before then if you want to look for updates on Twitter or Discord. But I'll write 5 p.m. Tuesday. Or I'll just, I'll just write the kanji for fire for Tuesday. That means Kayobi, the day of fire. Tuesday. So next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central Time. Join us. We'll continue in Japanese Quest. So see you guys next time. Let's see who can host today. Uh, so yeah, Choya is streaming, like people mentioned. Check out Choya. Follow Choya. Also a Japanese um, teacher on Twitch. Choya right now teaches English in Japan just like I used to do. So check out Shoya as I host them. Follow Shoya has a high Japanese level so you can definitely learn a lot from them and from their stream. So check out Shoya. Um, all Japanese teachers are connected so follow them too if you want to. Ja! Matane! See you guys next time. Next time Japanese Quest will continue. Ja! Matane!